Hello, this is Gary Tonicor from MoreThanASnapshot.com. One of my followers asked about removing some uh, marks that glasses can make in a portrait. And I think he's using Lightroom, so that's what we're going to try to use it in. Uh, Lightroom doesn't have great tools for cloning, but probably good enough to get the job done. This would be a little more effective if we could do it in Photoshop, but let's see what we can do here in Lightroom. So the first thing is, is you want to zoom in really close. And you can see there's a dark area from the glasses. So we're going to come over to the Spot Removal Tool. And then when you go to the Spot Removal Tool, you'll see that there are two options. One says Clone and one says Heal. And in this case, we want to heal. And then we have options for Size, Feather, and Opacity. So we want the opacity to be 100%. We want the size to be larger than the mark that we're trying to remove. And we want to push the feathering up quite a bit. So I have it around 86. And so what I'm going to do is start here at the bottom and then just come around and make this shape trying to cover that mark. And you'll see that it'll, of course, throw out where it thinks it's going to get um, the pixels from to replace those. And it's not bad, but what I think would help is to try to push it closer to the spot we're sampling from. And we'll see how that looks. All right. Since we have the feathering on pretty high, I think that it'll work fine. So let me turn off the clone tool for a second. And I think that that is pretty good. Now, if you had little spots that you missed, you could come back by clicking on the dot and you could try making the size of it a little bit larger uh, maybe increase the feather a little bit more but I think it did all right and it's fairly simple to do sometimes it may just be tricky to get it all in and it did a fairly good job uh, you could also have you know if you have Photoshop you might be a little more accurate uh, in getting rid of it but I think that worked pretty well. As for the rest of the portrait, I think it's a nice shot. I guess this must be in Portugal. And so if I were going to try some things for the rest of the shot, I would want to darken down uh, the stuff in the background a bit. So uh, first I might take down the highlights and spec you know, really take down the whites because those bright areas. All right. And maybe I'll take down the highlights just a bit more and pump up the midtones a little bit. Now I'll push the black point a little bit to the left and maybe add a little bit of contrast. All right, uh, adding a little contrast kind of uh, brought up that building again. So what I could do is go to over to my tone curve and click on this adjustment tool. And then right here I'm seeing it's a little bit hot so I click and drag down, and that will take away that brightness. I'm finding a couple of bright spots back here, and I'm just clicking and dragging down, and you can see here it's pulling down the tone curve in those areas so it doesn't look overexposed. Now, the person, um, you know, his face is looking a little bit dark now, so I would probably finish this off by coming over to the brush tool, or to the radial tool. Uh, I like to use the brush tool, so I'm going to just zero everything out by double clicking on the word effect, and I'm going to increase the exposure probably a little more than I would want to use it, just so I can see the effect that I'm having. And I'll paint in the area that I want to be brighter. This is the spot where we want the person's eye to focus, so we want to lighten this up quite a bit. And then I'll get a new brush and lower it a bit and maybe brighten up his clothes, but not as much as his face. All right. And then I might do it again, a new brush. This time I would 
again with a small amount just go in and brighten up the whites of the eyes and a little bit around the iris yeah and just as you know a quick adjustment I think that that will help and um, let's check out the before and after and we want to zoom in on this part uh, to see if we really got rid of the mark of the glasses here you can clearly see that shadow and now I'm not really seeing it so I think that worked out well but when I see this comparison I think I went a little bit too bright on his face um, so I'm going to go back to the single view and I'm going to click back on the brush and find that brush that I used on his face here's the mask you can see he's lit up and we just went a little too far with the exposure I think so I'll take it down a bit and I think that that is all right let's check out the before and after try to make it a little larger so what do you think leave your comments in the uh, comment section below if you have any other ideas or suggestions that could have been done to this photo, I think you did a nice job capturing it, and thanks for sending in your question. Also, if anybody else has any questions, don't, don't hesitate to ask. Again, this has been Gary D. Tonicourt from WeatherTheSnapshot.com.